Hey, church family. I want to just take a moment to help get you ready for this coming Sunday. As you know, we are finishing up John's letter. We know it is 1 John. We're coming to chapter 5. Sunday, we're going to look at the text, verses 13 through the end of the chapter, verse 21. Although I'll give you a little hint right now. As I've prepared this, it's just too much for one message. So it's going to be part one and part two. But this message that will start this coming Sunday and then we'll finish the following Sunday fits in so well with everything that we're focusing on and emphasizing in our church this fall. Uh, you know that we have one purpose weekend, September 17th through the 19th, and our focus is on discipleship. And then we have Wednesdays at Emmanuel beginning September 22nd with again an emphasis on discipleship. So we've just... Uh, felt so compelled by the Lord to double down on our call to make disciples and to really sharpen our focus on that commissioning by Christ to make disciples who make disciples that we're, uh, we're just doing one purpose weekend and uh, Wednesday's at Emmanuel. Now this text then, as we look at it, I'm going to have us see it as sort of a model or curriculum for discipleship. Because what seems to be sort of just John kind of throwing in different points that he wants to get into the letter before the end of it, really becomes, I think, a curriculum for discipleship. So whether you're discipling your children as parents, whether you're discipling someone maybe in a mentoring, counseling relationship, uh, maybe you're doing a one-on-one -on -one Bible study with, in which you're trying to disciple someone. This is a great curriculum uh, or model for discipleship because the first issue in discipleship here is to lead your disciple to full assurance of their relationship with God. That's why John says, I write these things that you might know that you have eternal life. And then it's, it's going to be interesting to see that John six times in this text says, we know, we know, we know. So secondly, we want to remind our disciples of what we know to be true. And then we want to teach them to pray, just as Jesus taught his disciples. We want to teach them to pray. So we have uh, most of these verses deal with, uh, with prayer. Then the following week, we're going to talk about grounding our disciples in Christ I mean, what's more important in discipleship than to be grounded in Christ? And then we'll finish up by talking about helping our disciples to fight sin, because John's last uh, exhortation in this letter is just that uh, very uh, brief summary statement where he says, little children, keep yourselves from idols. So this coming Sunday, we're going to look at the first three of this list of five, and then the following Sunday, the last two. This Sunday, we will talk about the issue of what does it mean when it talks about the sin unto death, and who can commit the sin unto death. There's always a lot of questions about that in verses 16 and 17. Uh, so really looking forward to getting into the God's Word, talking about discipleship, and giving us a list as to how we can disciple, what we can uh, use in discipling others. So God bless you. Look forward to seeing you someday.